I was uh, working as a demolition worker, mm -hmm. uh, just doing odd jobs, and then I had uh, was managing uh, what they call a, uh, a strip mall across from Boulevard Mall. The owner died. And mm -hmm. Consequently, the uh, people who took over the mall decided to pay him to continue to pay the uh, salary that was required. And so I just stopped. I didn't have a job. And it, that was strange because I couldn't get another job. So you ended up in the storm drains, right? Yes. But well, were there steps before then? Uh, no, uh, it, well, yes there was because it became odd jobs to, to continue to live where I was living in my own apartment. But then after a while the odd jobs didn't pull off enough money to pay for monthly bills. And so I said, well, you know, right now without a job, I might as well might as well be homeless because I can't afford this. And there's no cheaper places than where I was staying at. Mm -hmm. I was staying at something like that 400. Mm -hmm. And once my income fall, fell below 400, it was impossible to pull it back up. Anyway. So I just all of a sudden thought of an idea. I had seen some people washing windows, and, you know, in cars. Mm -hmm. And I said, there's got to be a way that that could be, to, that, that could be an income that I could use. So what I decided to do was to take on a you know, few uh, items and go out and start finding out how to get the customers. And eventually it became something that was, was able to, to bring in, you know, enough to pay rent. So just, just recently, I'd say, what about 10, 10 or 15 days ago, I decided we can't live down here any longer. We had already went through a lot of trouble in the drains. When you say trouble, what did you run into? Weather conditions. Mm -hmm. Unexpected things that happen in those in those tunnels. <laughs> um, for example, we had her and I, we were sleeping one night. And mind you that the day that, that day the weather the sky was clear and it was about eighty degrees and it's a pretty normal day as usual. Until that night came we were asleep and the water came out. The water came in at 45 miles an hour hmm. and flushed us out of the drain area. And now I know why they say don't be in them because that, that problem does exist. Were you sleeping on the cement? Are you on wood or what? No, we were sleeping actually on a bed that we had set up in, inside the tunnels. The tunnels are very spacious and concrete. And so I made it, you know, habitable for us to live there. But when that water came through, well, the force is somewhat different. Mm -hmm. You know, it really. Were there other people down there? No, just her and I. Although people occupy the drain systems throughout the underneath the whole city. Yeah. You know, but most most people try to have those spaces. That are, you know, I you know away from everyone else. So we and so what happened that night? We were sleeping, and all of a sudden I don't swim. Well. I don't know how to swim, and she does not how to swim. But when you're caught up with that much water coming at you at once, the force is unbelievable. Uh, the water, I'd say the water was at least six to seven feet high. And so when the water came through and I woke up, I was under the water. I automatically grabbed her. And well, so what did you do for food? Well, we would always buy, we get our, we could buy our food like takeout because it's harder to store food. Of course. I mean, food stamps. Uh, and no, it was just from what we earned from working in cleaning cars. A lot of times people would just buy food for us in exchange for the work, and that's what we asked for in some way, for the most part. Uh, it's impossible to store food in the sun. Mm -hmm, of course. And with the heat like it is. Well, I was just thinking about the dollar store and the uh, canned goods. Well, that and pilferaging. People would come by and steal the items that you have, so you, you didn't want to store too much. and. Because of freshness, see, I, my 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 digestion system is very sensitive, so I can't just have something that I'm in doubt of whether it's going to be fresh tomorrow. Or mm -hmm. not. So I always made sure I just got fresh food all the time. Uh, as far as food goes, it's easier to eat out than it was. To oh yeah, sleep. when you don't have enough people, it's always the case. Right. But uh, as far as now, other items, you you change into a, a camping system. <laughs> It became a camping situation with the uh, lights, burning fires. To, to do you have uh, light at night? 
Yeah, through the fire. But we fire. use we use a, a type of uh, fuel that was just easy to uh, obtain. It was unbelievable. It was the cooking grease that people use in restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, we use that, and it burns really, really right. It, it burns what you consider long, but clean. And what do you put it in uh, when you're making the fire? A uh, metal pint, a metal bowl, basically. That's what you really want. Mm -hmm. A metal bowl, and then you just apply a little, uh, just a little bit of paper. Not much. And that keeps the fire going at a controlled rate. But the grease never gets hot. And it, it'll burn for like four days on a, on a quarter. So you're no longer in, in the tunnels, right? No, we, we were blessed not to live there anymore. Um, How did you get a, an apartment? A friend of mine, uh, he had been uh, one of the homeless people that we knew. Mm -hmm. He was uh, involved in the war in, uh, in the desert storm. He had got hurt, and he had finally got a settlement from that. And he says, I'll, I'll help you out. You know, give you some A settlement from whom? From the VA. VA. He had been applying for, for the loans. And they finally gave it to him, something like $100,000, $200,000 to pay back Great. Pay. So he said, well, look, I'll give you some money to... to put you back into an apartment. And so now we, we continue to pay our own rent, you know, you know from what we make on our, on our work each day. But it was that jump, that jump start that we needed. And it was when you, you know, sometimes people give you maybe $100, $200 over a week's time. But that really doesn't put you in a position to move in places because of the amount that they require. So he was able to give it to the power of the hotel.